Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and welcome to another video, SSRT build part 3. So in the last video we were having problems with the fact that um, I was concerned about the weight of the SSRT being too much for the little claw to handle. And apparently I was right when I tried to fuel it up all the way, the claw would snap off every single time. So I needed a way to figure out how to support the weight of the vehicle once it got fully fueled up. Right here I'm trying to do like I did last time, put landing gears on the bottom to try to have it support itself. But no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to get the thing balanced just right. So even though the I spent a lot of time building the launch platform that curls upwards and pulls the vehicle so it's vertical, uh, even though I spent a whole lot of time doing that, the problem of it not being able to support the weight of the craft fully fueled led me to try to make a new type of launch platform. It kind of hurt because I spent a lot of time building that little rocking system and it looked cool when it did the whole rocking platform thing. But we needed a launch platform that would hold the weight of this thing once it got fully fueled. And unfortunately that little claw is just not strong enough. So I needed something to get up underneath of it and prop it up. So at this point I was kind of shooting from the hip. I didn't really know what I wanted. Um, I knew I wanted something that, su that supported the weight of the craft, but I didn't know exactly how I was going to do that and lift it up at the same time. So I still utilized the claw, but only to keep it keep the craft steady during the lift lifting process. During the fueling process, the idea was to have it either let go of the craft and have the craft just sit on this platform or to go into the, damn it, I forgot what that was called. Anyway, uh, the same vessel interaction. There we go, now I remember. Same vessel doohickey allows you, allows the same vessel parts to, uh, to interact with each other instead of blending in with one another. Yeah, brain fart. Yeah, brain fart. But, uh, so yeah, that was the new idea to have the launch platform support the weight of the craft when it's fully fueled. So right now I had a good idea of what I wanted, but I didn't really have an idea of how to execute it. I didn't know how to tilt this thing down to grab the vehicle, and I didn't really know how to prop it back up. So I kind of just went all out there with a bunch of ideas in my head. Uh, one of them was to have the thing unfold like an accordion, and that would allow it to flatten out. And then when it folded up, there'd be enough weight on the back of it to keep it from tilting nose down, or at least that was the idea. However, as we all know, things on paper look a lot better than in actual practice. So right here I was painfully reminded just how weak the robotic parts are. And this wasn't going to work. But I didn't want to give up because I liked I liked where it was going. It had a type of crane system and it had a supporting structure underneath for the vehicle to sit on. If there was just some way I could find out how to prop it up. 
and prop it back down again. So I took a few pointers from the original rocker launch pad design and tried to implement it into this new design. Funny thing, while I was recording, someone had subscribed. Thank you, Mr. Introvert EX. Now, I, I use the same program, um, OBX, OBX, is it OBS? OBS, to uh, record videos as well as stream. So, from now on, if somebody gets lucky enough to subscribe while I'm making a video, your name will be up here too. Yay, and you'll win a new car and stuff. So, you can see, once again, we were having more problems with the claw. Yeah, for some reason now it couldn't even pick up an empty weight SSRT. It kept on popping off and breaking off and glitching and all this other good stuff. I eventually just got rid of the whole concept of using the claw entirely. So if I wasn't going to use the claw to pick up the SSRT, then I needed to build some sort of grappler arm underneath of the SSRT so I could pick it up with the actual launch platform. Now, the problem with having a type of grappler arm underneath of the SSRT was the fact that I didn't have enough room for a cargo, uh, a type of loader to put cargo into the SSRT. There was an idea floating around in my head that I could possibly put the cargo on this grappler arm or this lower grappler arm and just have it swing upwards and put the cargo into the SSRT. The problem with that idea is that the SSRT is no longer one with the launch platform. It doesn't have a claw to attach it or even a docker, docking clamp or anything. So it's not always going to sit precisely in one spot. It's going to move around a little bit, which would unfortunately mean that since the arm underneath the SSRT is fixed, that wouldn't necessarily work 100% of the time something would be shifted out of the out of place and it would be in the way so I just got rid of the bottom arm altogether and sort of did a forklift where you had two arms in a sense up underneath on either side of the craft allowing room for a loader vehicle to load up the SSRT directly in the middle it would definitely take a few practice tries before tweaking it so that the SSRT fit, fit exactly inside the launch platform because of the fact that even though you're trying to do this to the best of your ability in space plane hangar, uh, it's not always what the game world is going to allow you to achieve. So what you do in space plane hangar is you try to get it as close as you can but it's going to take at least four or five tries before you get it exactly right. One of the uh, cool ideas that I was playing around with was uh, having pistons act as a type of um, like, like fingers or arms. They would be uh, retracted, of course, when it backed up, when the SSRT backed up into the launch platform. But during the uh, lifting operation, they would telescope out and cover the belly of the craft allowing it to pick it up. I didn't think it was gonna work at first. I thought, you know, they're gonna pop off, but they held, so that would definitely be a win in my book. I tried using maybe a docking port that would come out and dock with the spacecraft to help it hold it in place to sort of replace the whole claw idea. But I would eventually learn that, just like I said before, this thing is not going to be connected to the launch platform at all in any way, shape, or form. So it's going to bounce around and kind of be a little bit not exactly perfect on the launch platform. Which would mean that in order to dock, it would have to be perfectly lined up, and that was not going to be the case. So now it was time to 
rebuild the loading craft. I needed to thin it down a little bit so it could fit into a tighter spot. I needed to bring the arm out some more so it could reach in further. Um, but basically it would, it would be the same craft. The loading craft would still be the same craft. Just uh, tightened up real good. I accidentally flipped over the truck there, but I figured it would be good practice knowing that this thing could grab a payload from pretty much anywhere. Now I admit that the propping up of the SSRT is a little rough and I'm hoping to remedy that later on, make it a lot smoother so it's not bouncing around a whole lot because if anything that would definitely have the potential of summoning the Kraken and having the whole thing explode. So I think I'm going to either use a piston or a type of landing gear to try to smooth that transition out a little bit. Well, everyone, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and uh, please hit a like to help fight the YouTube algorithm. And I hope to see you all in the next video. I am Veos, signing off.